Hi friends. So in this video, we are going to cover what is wire load model and how it is used to estimate the capacitance and resistance of a net. So let's get started. So WLM is nothing but an estimation of a delay based on area and fan out. So area is the design area and the fan out is the net fan out. Then the net resistance and net capacitance are used to calculate the delay of a particular net and the net delay is then calculated as resistance, net resistance multiplied by the net capacitance. This is nothing but the RC delay. So while load models provide synthesis tools with the estimation of the net resistance and capacitance based on the length and fan out that represent 90% of the nets. What does it mean is, suppose you have a design. So in that design, what is the length and fan out of 90% of the nets. So based on this information, the wire load model basically provides the information on the estimation of the net resistance and capacitance. So there are loads of WLM models provided in the technology library. For example, Synopsis Technology Library. So Synopsis Technology Library has loads of wire load models depending on the area and fan out of the design. So then how the SPA tool basically calculates the delay for uh, delay from a WLM for a specific net. So this is the process the STA tool will go through. So STA tool first will determine the area that a net fits in. That means a particular net, the area of a block in that the particular net is sitting. What is the area of that particular block? Then the ST tool will select the WLM model corresponding to that particular area. So in the first first step, the ST tool will will calculate the area of the block in which the net is sitting. Then based on that area, the ST tool will go and select the WLM. Then the ST will use the WLM to estimate the wire length based on the fan out of net. So based on the fan out of the net, in the WLM, we will have the corresponding wire length. Then the capacitance multiplied and the resistance multipliers, which will come from the WLM are used to actually determine the actual RC delay of the net. So now, the, for example, the total net capacitance, net capacitance will become the capacitance multiplier, which will come from the selected WLM model and the length which will also come from the selected WLM model based on the fan out of that net and similarly the net resistance. To note here that for the same fan out if the block size is more then the length of that net is also going to be more and hence the value of the capacitance will also increase. So this is one of the examples we are going to understand and Basically, this exam in this in, through this example, we will understand how a wide load, wide load model looks like and how the delay is calculated based on the wide load model. So, example here is consider an enclosed wide load model. The net fan out is four. The net for which we have to find out the net delay. Then the net delay each uh, its fan out is four, and the area of the block the net is in is two hundred units. So. The block in which the net is sitting is 200 unit area. The area of the top design is 800 units. Top design, so the net is sitting in the sub block and the top design in which this sub block is sitting, the area of that full top design is 800 units. Now determine, determine the delay of the net using the below WLM. So here two WLM models are given. One is 20 cross 20 that means 400 area WLM. So this WLM is corresponding to a block which has area to uh, 400 unit. So if the block area is between 0 to 400 that means we have to select this wire load model and now in this wire load model what is given to us is the resistance multiplier, the capacitance multiplier. Here this is the area, the slope and the fan out length. So if you see here the fan out length for a fan out 1. For example, there is a net with 
fan out one, then the length of that net is zero point one five. If fan out is two, then length is zero point three zero. If fan out is three, then length is zero point four seven, and so on. Now there is a second WLM model which is also given to us, and this WLM is thirty cross thirty. That means nine hundred unit area. So if a block size is below nine hundred, we will be selecting this this model. But here one thing to note here is, for example. The block size to uh, which is given to us is 200 units. So this 400 area WLM is closest to the 200 units. So we will have to use this WLM model. So if you see here, the fan out of the net is given four. So corresponding to the fan out of four, the length is 0.70. So now we got all the uh, parameters which we need. The resistance multiplier, the capacitance multiplier, and the length, which is zero point seven zero. Now let's see what is the net delay for this net. So if you see, we have the resistance multiplier, which is zero point five. Then we have the capacitance multiplier, zero point one five. Then we have the fan out given, which is four. Then block area given is two hundred units, and hence we will select the first WLM and fan out length. So fan out length, what will be the fan out length? Corresponding to the fan out four, the fan out length is zero point seven zero. So this is the zero point seven zero. Then what is the net delay formula? The net delay formula, as we saw in our previous slide, it will be R net into C net, where the R net and C net will be C, uh, capacitance multiplier or resistance multiplier multiplied by the fan out length. Okay. So by putting all this in the formula, the total net delay will become zero point seven zero. Which is fan out length into 0.5, which is resistance multiplier multiplied by fan out length 0.70 into capacitance multiplier, which is 0.15, and the total net delay becomes 0.03675 unit. So this is the uh, wire load model concept, where uh, based on the area and fan out of a net, uh, the ST tool will determine a particular net uh, delay. So hope this is clear to you. If you like the video please hit the like button also please do subscribe this channel and enable the notification so that you will not miss any such video in future thank you very much